Here's how easily your fingers can get damaged. I had these gloves on and uh, these do not offer that much protection but at least a little bit <clears throat> and this uh, wire brush right here cut right through my gloves very easily. <clears throat> Got a couple cotter pins to take out. Okay, now I'm just taking um, gas without ethanol in it, and I'm using that to clean all this stuff. Uh, the reason why I'm using non uh, ethanol gas is because I bought too much for my chainsaw and uh, I also use it for my small engines because it tends to eat the uh, plastic hoses. I, I'm just going to clean everything I can off of this. I did take all of these pieces of the brake drum or pieces of the brake linings and I took them all off. No doubt these, since these are from the 30s, 40s or 50s, they're probably asbestos. I took them all off. This spring right here, I have tried to take that off. It's uh, too tough. I'm not going to try anymore. I just want to get this thing together and possibly sell this trailer. I took all the grease off of this uh, spindle here. By the way, these axles, they're welded on and they also cut them in half and spread them out a little so they can make a wider trailer. Also, um, these are front spindles, not rear. Now here's the right sequence for this particular um, <clears throat> brake drum for this uh, <laughs> this brake drum of unknown uh, year. I don't know what year it's from. So I'm going to take this bearing here. I've got everything laid out how it's supposed to go. The first the bearing, then this washer with uh, one tooth in it, and that tooth is going to go into uh, a keyway, and then this castle nut, and then there's going to be some of these cotter pins. One will be long enough, I have to pick one long enough to go through this castle nut and then a hole that's in the spindle. So first of all, you got to put some grease on this uh, bearing. 
make sure you get enough on. Just use your grease gun and get some out ready to go. And take this washer and nut with you and then last of all this cap goes on. Okay, first of all, a bearing. Just fit it over the spindle. Next, put this washer on. Make sure this tooth, there's one tooth that goes right in the keyway. Next, put the castle nut on. And then I'm going to have to go get a cotter pin. I'm just going to make sure this turns and that's it. Now I've got to tighten it real tight. That's good. Now the way you put this cap on is use your screwdriver, just pound it evenly all the way around. Okay, here's the problem. This hole, and uh, I'm going to have to cut a patch to go in there because I want to use this as a uh, tubeless tire uh, with a tubeless tire, and so I'm going to have to make this so that it doesn't leak at all, and that's not an easy task. So first of all, I got to get some metal, and uh, also, in order to uh, take that old piece of metal that was in there off, I had to put a couple of stops over here, one over here with screws, and one over here with a couple of screws. So now I got to cut a piece of metal.
big a piece I want. Now we got to make a template of this hole right here. The way to do that is take your sharpie, put this piece of paper behind it, make sure that this paper does not move. And then just draw around the shape. Then we'll use the grinder to shape this. use a knife or scissors to cut it out. <clears throat> uh, make it a little bit bigger so that um, you don't make it too small. So I'm making it about a sixteenth of an inch bigger. I'm going to try it. Okay, that's about right. I'm going to turn it upside down because I already have a straight edge right here. I think I'm going to use my silver sharpie for this. have to cut a circle for this little hole right here.
like that. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my pliers, my uh, vice grips, and hold that in in there. Make sure that your uh, gauges are all off. Make sure that these uh, tank valves are off. Make sure this is off. Everything's off. Okay, you got this little wrench here. I've got that off. I haven't used this for a while, so I kind of forget. Okay, now you're going, you want your controls, these right here, you want these at the bottom. It's a little bit easier to maneuver everything when the controls are at the bottom. But this is the one that matters. This control right here. And I'm going to turn this to about 12. Turn on the oxygen. Like any faucet. Take these out. These are the welding rods. The white ones. Okay, there's some spots in here that uh, haven't been covered with the bronze. There's one over here, and then one over here. There's a big one right here, and then there's 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 this crack right here, right along in there. So we'll try to get that. See how it goes. I'm going to try the other glasses. Here you can see the uh, back of the patch that I put in there. Uh, it's going to have an inner tube, so I'm not that worried about it. 